One of the most frequent things you're going to do inside a Divi is to work on styling your mobile styles. And the text size is one of the things that you're going to probably want to change the most often. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the text size on your mobile device using Divi's responsive layout designer. So we're going to start with some text here and we're just going to click on the gear button to get us into the text dialog box. Once we are in the text dialog box, we're going to click on design and go to the text area so we can change that. Of course, you, as you know, there are headings inside here. So I'm going to show you how to change the text. And if you want to change a heading, then you're going to go need to change that in the specific heading style that you're using. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to find the text size here because that's really what we're aiming for. We're not wanting to change the font or anything like that. We're just wanting to change the size to be a little bit different. So in order to get it so that we have the tabs that allow us to change the devices separately, we have to kind of hesitate here by the text size with our mouse. That's going to pop this little menu out to the side with four options here and we're going to click the device option. That's going to give us three more tabs, one for desktop, one for tablet, and one for mobile. Now, you, when this, this is popped out like this, that means whatever changes you make are only going to be on that device. So if I make a change here, it's only going to affect the desktop. It won't affect the tablet or the phone. In this case, we're going to want to affect the phone and not anything else. Well, when that happens, our website reduces down here to look like a phone view. And you can adjust whether you want this to be wider in pixels or narrower in pixels if you want. I suggest you leave it as the default because it's going to be probably the closest to accurate. To be honest, all phones are just a hair bit different depending on their size. Like an iPhone Max is going to look different than a regular iPhone, is going to look different than an Android, is going to look different than a Google Pixel, um, a Samsung. You can tell I don't know much about Android phones. But anyway, um, I've lived in an iOS world for a really long time now. But here, here's, here's an opportunity for you to look at it in one view. I recommend that after you save the file and the, the, um, the page and the, the changes become live, that you actually pick up your device and take a look at it on the device itself. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea to grab a couple of friends and load your website up on their devices if their devices are different than yours. Okay, back to this. So whatever you have chosen here, is the only thing that you're going to be changing, okay? So if we wanted this type to be smaller on a mobile device, we can make it smaller. In general, the headlines are what you want to make smaller. The body text often doesn't matter. And just for demonstration purposes, we're going to do the body text to be smaller. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark. And when I do that, it's going to pop back open to my full size desktop screen. And I can tell my type didn't change. But if I come down here and change the view to mobile, then I can see that it has changed. If I go to tablet view, I can see it's back to being the bigger font size. And again, it's really important when it comes to these headlines, because if you'll notice, when I do this on mobile, this goes to two lines. Some cases like this one, I don't really care, but it might be nice if that's on one line. So let's go ahead and change it. Now here is the thing that you need to understand. Just going in on the settings when you're in the mobile view does not necessarily mean that you're changing the um, just the mobile view. You have to change it uh, individually. So let's see what that is. That's a heading three. So what I'm doing is just looking here to see, and it says heading three right here. That tells me what, what one of the headings to go under. So I'm going to go under heading text and heading three. And then I'm going to come down here to my text size, hover so I get the little side menu, click. And now I'm just changing the size there. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, click my check box. And then when I come back to my full screen, it's the same size. When I click on the cell phone, it's going to be smaller. 
simple as pie, but you can do that by the way, the same principle, so the concept of being able to alter things on a cell versus on a tablet versus on a desktop is true of almost everything in Divi. So you can realistically go in and completely redesign your, your site on to have a phone view that looks completely different, including the content that is displayed on a phone being different from what is displayed on the desktop. And as you go through these videos, uh, you will be able to see that happen more and more frequently and hopefully it'll all get put together. But this is a good introduction for you, especially if you're new to Divi, to understanding how you can work with the responsive design modules and customize each specific one.